Agora TV. The world is thinking. First of all, we'll start out get everybody on the same page as the world warming. Yes, it's according to the IPCC, it's unequivocal. And there is the last um, uh, 120 some odd years of it. However, when I testified to the U.S. Congress about two years ago on this, Congressman uh, Rohrbacher from, uh, from uh, Orange County uh, had, yes, I know, you can, you can just, there are some people who you don't even have to tell a joke. Just mention the name and you get a laugh. He's one of them. <laughs> Michael Crichton, you know. And then those other famous people, you know, all these paper publishing climate scientists who know everything. People like professors uh, Glenn Beck and Rush Limbaugh and George Will. I mean, well, in any case, um, he said, isn't greenhouse gases increasing since 1998? Yes, sir. Uh, isn't that trapping heat? Yes. It hasn't warmed. I said, no, it's been pinned at the top. Uh, therefore, I falsify global warming. No, you haven't. <laughs> and uh, he could not hear that. So I just gave him another example. I said, well, this is what we call in statistics cherry picking. Go to the endpoints that fit your con you know, preconception. I said, so let me cherry pick for you. How about 1992 to 2002? My God, going to hell in a handbasket. Or it's just noise. Very fast, slow, and now we're fluctuating back up again. That's what we call interdecadal variability. It's about as large, so slightly larger than what you expect from global warming. It's in all the models. It's in all the theories. It's well known. And yet, it has been absolutely amazingly abused as an example of falsifying global warming when it doesn't do anything of the sort. In fact, uh, yes, uh, Senator Inhofe, and his grandchildren, which I view this as child abuse because it's miseducating children, uh, built an igloo uh, in, the, um, in the snowstorm in Washington, which they called the Al Gore Global Warming House. And the media dutifully covered it. They forgot to mention it occurred in January, which is the warmest January we've ever recorded. And that no more proves global warming than one snowstorm disproves it. It's all noise. Now, we're just down the street from the baseball park. And out there, I noticed Willie Mays, famous baseball player. And the way I try to explain it is that figuring out whether one snowstorm or even a decade v falsifies or validates is the same thing as trying to figure out Willie Mays' lifetime batting average by how he did in the summer of 1958. It's a sampling error. It is not science. It is bad science. Why is the media even giving these guys any airtime?